Okay, it's May 11th. Do the weekly uh, review. Uh, so let's start off with the S&P, uh, the strategic level. In this case, the monthly, uh, which is this chart right here. As you can tell, we're still strongly in a uh, uptrend, and uh, <coughs> and it's uh, yeah, extremely strong uptrend that continues. So. Uh, we look at the weekly, same situation, although now you can tell we're, uh, it's showing that at least in the short term we're kind of stuck in this little bit of a range. Uh, here's the daily, uh, although like I said we're still at, at, at pretty good levels uh, on the S&P. Uh, if we break it down tactically, uh, as we know from the last couple of weeks, uh, it's been a little bit of a, it's a tail of two markets. Uh, one is the NASDAQ and the other is uh, everything else. Uh, and this is a chart of the uh, NASDAQ daily. And you can tell it's stuck in this downtrend still. Uh, the uh, one good uh, news as of late is that it has been making higher lows or at least has hasn't broken the uh, low of mid-April so uh, right now we're kind of in this little bit of a uh, <coughs> sideways uh, triangle pattern so we don't know whether this is going to be a, uh, a trend changing pattern meaning it breaks above the uptrend or it's going to be a continuation pattern where it'd be a break below uh, this you know this uh, these higher lows if it breaks below it's just, then it's just a continuation pattern and when we continue lower uh, so uh, you know it's tough to see uh, I mean we have certain clues if you will as to where the market may want to go but right now it would just it's it's still obviously speculation. So what I have here from uh, Thursday and Friday, I do have an MXRS uh, or market extreme sort of indicator uh, uh, tactically. So again, uh, in here, so that tells me, hey, I want to look for some uh, buy opportunities, especially in the, in the beaten down tech sector. Uh, you know, again, relative strength buys in the tech sector. Uh, so uh, the other interesting thing here is you know the uh, we got the 100 day on the right up at, right up above here and this is the 150 day. So uh, definitely want to see this market uh, get back above the 150 day, uh, holding these these levels in here, breaking above this downtrend line, and then uh, that should be uh, correlated to a, a move in the S and P uh, to new highs here. Uh, so. Uh, Last week was very frustrating, I guess, uh, trying to be a swing trader because every day was like a reversal day. We had a down move, then an up move, then a you know down move, then an up move, and 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 the market just doesn't want to move in any direction right now. So, uh, I, I mean, the way I'm looking at it is that uh, we're stuck in that until we're not, and. Uh, and, and, and in the S&P here, we got this uh, sort of, it's almost like an ascending uh, a triangle pattern. So usually these things uh, work out to the downside, but uh, it, it's not a perfect pattern right now. So I, I don't want to uh, say that that's how it's going to go. We'll see. I mean, right now we need to see the S&P hold above that downtrend. And, and make new highs break above this here and then that'll tell us potentially we're going higher uh, so some of the oscillators that kind of have been in the sort of uh, lower end of the range which is I at least in the in McClellan oscillator uh, is a good thing it's, it's, it tells me a little more fuel there would be some fuel uh, into the market if it goes higher but we'll see how that develops this week uh, so uh, really right now, I, I don't, like I said, I, I'm, I'm looking to try to be a buyer of, of things, but uh, I've been trying to buy the Netflix, uh, if, if 
I sent out some emails, Priceline, and, and I have been involved here and there in those things, and they, they had momentary uh, glimpses of hope, but then they will usually be crushed uh, a day or two later. So, uh, But at the same point, at least most of these stocks now have, have, uh, have made higher lows uh, for the most part, or they seem like they, they, they're wanting to uh, stabilize. Uh, if we're looking at, you know, here's a chart of Google, uh, it's still it's made a higher low. Here's the downtrend. I'd like to see it break above here. Uh, uh, I mean, there are, all these stocks have the same type of pattern. Uh, stock I'm looking for this week again is Netflix. This has been making you know made a higher low. In this case, I want to see it get above this little level. And, and, and again, it's still kind of early to be. Uh, we're still stuck in this downtrend, so I'm kind of cheating, trying to uh, get a good price in these. But then I have to be prepared for some whipsaw when things don't work out. Uh, like I said, Netflix is a stock I'm looking at uh, for the week. Uh, I know you're involved in Twitter, and, and again, uh, you know, not to beat a dead horse, but there really was never a, an area to be a aggressive buyer. And this thing is just the whole way. Once it broke through its 55s, it just kept making lower lows, lower lows. Had, you know, no real great uh, breakouts in any capacity and here it is now we're down in the $30 range we'll see if that level is the low uh, again uh, time will tell uh, like I said I'd like to see some uh, I mean right now it's just stuck in, in a death spiral that's where it is until uh, somebody comes out an activist investor like a Carl Icahn or or uh, the company comes out and says we're aggressively buying shares. This thing right now just looks horrible. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not saying go out and short this thing uh, today or tomorrow. But uh, again, it's tough to be uh, you know want to be buying this this stock uh, for that matter. Uh, what other stocks am I looking at uh, for the week? Uh, Here's a list of it. So here, some again, I'm looking for like some relative strength buys. Here's one. Uh, this is a biotech ILMN. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Again, also stuck in a downtrend, but we'll see if it can uh, break above these levels in here. This congestion. LinkedIn. I'm looking at. This has really been a horrible stock. Looking to buy above these levels here. Uh, this is one that I've uh, did well at, at earlier in the year, uh, uh, VMware, uh, which actually has held up pretty well considering the the, the, the crushing in some of these stocks. So, uh, but I'll buy above these levels and see if they can break above these uh, these uh, moving averages. Uh, and, and that's it. I mean, really, I, I don't want to do too much because I don't see too much. So I really want to kind of stay on the sidelines for the most part, but uh, but I'm willing to take some uh, take a shot here and there, short term, and, and see where it, where it goes. And if it doesn't go anywhere, just get out real quick uh, for a small loss, and and then you know let that be a, 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 a you know so an information uh, as to how how things may develop. Uh, as you know, Apple has done pretty well, uh, although. It broke above 600 and, and then got crushed right down, but it's still actually a, a place you might want to, uh, you know, if you're looking for things to go higher, this is definitely a place to put money in because it is relatively stronger. Had a nice reversal on Friday. We'll see if they can uh, break above Friday's high and then make another run at the 600 level. So I, I think that's a, a, a good stock to be looking at. Uh, Facebook, uh, yeah, you know, it's holding up again, uh, but, you know, making higher low. But again, I think Twitter and, and, and that has is, is definitely uh, been hurting it. But again, it's, yeah, I'd rather be in Facebook than Twitter. Uh, like I mentioned, this whole Alibaba IPO definitely is not, uh, has been holding down the NASDAQ and, 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 and it has basically increased the selling in, the, in these sectors because uh funds out there that want to get involved in that got to sell something to buy Alibaba so that's what probably is also helping uh, beat these stocks down so that's all I got today uh, and uh, 
yeah, we'll see you next week.